Hi everybody! A while ago, my colleague Brent published a blog post called Domain Oriented Laravel. In that blog post, he makes the case for organizing your code around domains. A domain is a concept taken from the domain-driven design world. It means a sphere of knowledge or a sphere of activities. In short, you are going to organize your code around features or around a set of features. In his blog post, Brent um, explains this theory very well. In this video, I'd like to give you a practical example of where I recently used domain-oriented Laravel. We're going to take a look at the uh, oh dear code base and let me show you the application first if you're not familiar with it. Oh dear is a uptime tracker and we recently added a new feature to it. You can create status pages to publicly show you the status of all the application you're monitoring uh, with oh dear. So this is a feature that we uh, added onto the code base. Now, Let's take a look at the code base of Odir itself. So this is the state of the application of, I think, a couple of months ago. And if you're familiar with Laravel, yeah, you immediately recognize the structure. So we have a console, we have an app directory here with uh, all the other directories you're familiar with, uh, the console directory, models, policies, and so on. And if I open up that uh, model directory, you can see that we have uh, some models going on there. So recently, when uh, adding that status page features, we refactored it to uh, using domains. So let me show you the master branch. So you can see how it works now. So we don't have a models directory anymore or a job directory. Um, Instead, we have a domain directory. And if I open this up, then I have a subdirectory here for every big concept uh, in Odir. Um, if I open up, for instance, the status page directory here, then you can see that I have all the models that drive the, the status page feature here. I have, uh, I have all the, the policies here and all the code revolving around that feature is here. So this makes it much easier for me to, de to discover and work with this feature alone. I don't see the models of, of the other uh, domains here. I don't need to see anything that drives uh, the teams because I'm not busy with that. So that's a short practical example. Now, some people think that this is like a heavy thing to do, that in Laravel this is very hard to do and you're going to break uh, a lot of stuff by doing this. But actually this is not the case. Laravel really doesn't care where all of your things are stored. And you can go to this structure very easily. Now, let me show you that. So I'm going to switch back to the no domains uh, branch. And yeah, you can see it here. We have a block domain here. Let's recreate that. So I have no domain here whatsoever. And if I want to get started with that, I need to move every class to a domain directory. But luckily, PHPStorm can help us a lot with this. So that post model, it should belong in the block domain. So I can perform a uh, move refactor here. And if I uh, do that, then PHP Storm will show me a dialog to change the namespace of this class. So let's do that now. So we're going to move it in the app domain block models namespace. And let me refactor it. And HP Storm, with any luck, will move that file to domain, to block models, and uh, change uh, the namespace as well. And it will also have changed every reference uh, to that block. Now, I'm not going to run the entire test suite here in the interest of time. But for most of the cases, PHP Storm will just make the right uh, modifications in your test suite, make sure you have one, um, will um, 
uh, verify, I will, uh, will prove that everything still works. So let's do uh, another thing in the, uh, in the post domain. Every time that a blog post is published, I know that we'll send out a link to it via Twitter. So this folder here belongs in that blog domain. So you can uh, change um, the namespace of a single class, but PHP Storm is pretty awesome because you can also move an entire namespace at once. So let's do that now. I'm going to move this namespace to the domain uh, block. And I'm even going to rename that services to support because I tend to like that more now. I'm going to refactor it. I'm going to confirm it. And PHP Storm will move that entire uh, directory into uh, the blog domain. And every reference to all, to all those classes will be um, will be modified as well. So if you want to get started with uh, domains, it's really nothing more than just going over every class that uh, should be in that domain directory and just perform that move refactor and then you're done. Now don't do this for like small projects. Do this uh, with projects where you feel you have, uh, you have some benefit uh, for this. I feel that there's much benefit for me um, for this application, uh, let me go back to the master branch here. I think for me, the benefit lies that I can just, if I want to work on the blog, I can just open up this folder and I don't need to see all the rest. I can just open this up and think, ah, yeah, that's how, how that works. With stages pages, it's the same. I just have only the code for the stages pages uh, here. So that was like a quick example of how you can do this. Um, like I've said, uh, read the theory on it first and make up your own mind if this is useful for your projects or not. Thank you for your attention.